So today, we wanted to show you how to make a simple, classic Chinese soup called daisetang. It's made with some pork bones, although you do sometimes see chicken or a combination of the two meats, and strips of kelp. Now, unlike in the West, kelp isn't just a coastal thing in China. It's a common ingredient as far west as Gansu. See, in its dried form, it's pretty easy to transport, and traditionally, it was assumed to have some sort of health benefits. A correct assumption, it turned out, because seaweed can do a great job in fighting iodine deficiency a common cause of disability before we invented iodized salt. But purported health benefits aside, kelp's prevalence can also be explained by the fact that it tastes good. And it makes for great soups. So you can really find daisetang all around the country, from small eateries to fast food joints, and it's super easy to make at home as long as you got a couple hours to burn. So just start by tossing in 500 grams of pork bones, the sort with a bit of meat still attached, together with a knob of ginger into 2.5 liters of cool water and bring that up to a boil. Then as it's just coming up to a simmer, start to skim your soup as thoroughly as you feel like, I guess. We do belong to the paranoid camp on that front. So recently, what we've liked doing is adding some cool water to the soup, bringing it back up to a boil, and skimming again. This is actually an old 19th century French technique that we learned from the always excellent French cooking academy, and we thought it totally made sense within a Chinese context too. You do that process three times in all, then let it simmer away. Quick word, though, that the simmering level for a Chinese soup might be a bit heavier than what you're used to for Western stocks. What we're looking for is really more of a heavy simmer light boil like this. So then just cover with the lid a jar and let that go for two hours. Then while that's going, we can reconstitute our kelp. So toss 20 grams of dried kelp in a bowl with cool water and let it soak until your pork base is ready. You need at least a half an hour for this, but up to two would be totally fine. So then once that's all reconstituted, give it a thorough rinse to get off any sand that might still be clinging to the seaweed. Then squeeze to get out any excess water. Now to cut it, grab a piece and roll it up tightly like a log. Then cut down and slice those into about half centimeter slivers. Something like this is perfect. Work through all the kelp, and then this can go into the soup. So right, two hours in, you should be looking at this kind of milky consistency that's so classic for this kind of Chinese soup. Then just add in all your kelp, Give it a stir and let that cook for another 30 minutes. Then after that time, your soup is done. Season each bowl to taste with salt, sugar, an optional bit of MSG and white pepper, and a sprinkle of sliced scallions. And with that, your daisetang is done. So this is such a tasty classic. Uh, goes with basically like anything. So I hope you can give it a try. So right, check out the other link in the description box for a detailed recipe. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos. 